Hey guys, it's the origami here, and today I'm going to show you how to fold the origami flap in Ternodon by Robert J. Long. Love how it flaps its wings, right? Yeah, so cute. So this is designed by Robert J. Long, and it's published in the book Origami Design Secrets. And this is quite a simple model to fold, and I would like to thank Robert J. Long for giving me the permission to f make a tutorial of this. And so, yeah, without any further ado, let's get to the tutorial. Oh, by the way, there's Magic Girls, Charizard, and Dialga. Yeah, I'm pointing the wrong way, aren't I? Yeah, Magic Girls, um, Magic Girls, Charizard, Dialga. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay, anyway. So, tutorial. So let's uh, start folding, shall we? Okay, so first of all, we're going to fold the preliminary base, okay? So make the diagonals. If you're using two colored paper, mm, start with the colored side, okay? So fold the diagonals. Like that. And the other diagonal. Okay, and you're going to turn over, okay, unfold and turn over, and then fold in half, both ways. This is quite a fun model to fold, and very cute, and easy. <laughs> All in one. Unfold and fold it the other side. Oh, and by the way, I'm using colored printer paper for this one. Okay, light yellow. Might look white in the light. <laughs> hey, that rhymes. Might look white in the light, but it's actually very light yellow. Okay. Now you're going to make sure it's like this. Okay. This is concave. I don't know. I, I think this is convex, and this this is concave. Okay, whatever. You're going to uh, grasp these two corners, this corner and this corner. And you're going to bring them down while making valley folds on the half folds, book folds that we made. Yeah, okay, like this. We bring these two corners and we flatten. And this results in the square base. Very versatile base. Okay, like so. Now we're going to make the bird base. Okay. Make sure that the open side is facing you. Okay. This is the closed side where there is no open layers and this is the open side where there are all the layers are here okay maybe that's not a clear description but whatever just make sure the open side is front of you okay and you're going to then you're going to take this edges and fold it to here fold it to the center line so the center line probably shouldn't have chosen light yellow the creases aren't very really clear anyway like so, and repeat on all four sides. Like that. Okay, now I'm going to turn over. Okay. Well, <laughs> what I was actually going to tell you is now I'm going to be able to make more videos because I'm going to get a, f uh, a few free school days and I'm going to enter a coaching, okay, coaching center. Um, and it's only three days a week, so in my free days I will be able to do tutorials. Yay! <laughs> okay, so repeat in this side, fold to the center line. Oh, sorry, yeah. And like this. Now, if you're a novice in folding the bird base, if you've never folded the bird base, then, or did a petal fold, which we're currently going to do. On. Then I suggest you fold all those layers like I did and then make a line from this point to this point. This point to this point, okay. So fold down, valley fold. Like so. Like that, okay. And unfold. Oh, 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 yeah, I did it right. I thought I was forgetting a step, but no, 
Okay, I'm gonna unfold. And if my voice sounds hoarse, like, you know, like, uh, rough, if my voice sounds rough, then it's because I just woke up, okay? So, anyway, you're going to fold this valley fold on this existing crease, like that. And you're going to fold this layer up, this one layer up, and, like, completely up. And you're going to squash these, okay, on existing creases the creases we've made, these creases, okay, we're going to fold it up and squash it on these creases, like that, and here too. A petal fold is the result of two squashed folds, okay, and let me tell you, squash folds are very satisfying, and Robert Long thinks that too. <laughs> Okay, this is a petal fold. Okay, now we're going to turn over and we're going to fold this down on as far as you can. Okay, on existing creases. Okay, and we're going to repeat the same. So take one layer, fold it all the way up as far as you can, and squash it these on existing creases. Okay. Like so. Now we're going to fold these two flaps down. Okay. See this flap? Fold it down. Turn over and fold this flap down. Like so. And here's a kite. Fly away. No. Not really. Okay. Now we're going to make two angle bisectors. Okay. So we're going to fold on. We're going to make angle bisectors on this triangle. Okay. This triangle. Okay. So, first of all, we're going to make the angle bisector up here, and if you don't understand what I mean, just um, th th do what I do, okay? Take this edge and fold it to the center line. Like that, see? And crease sharply, unfold, and take this edge and fold this to the center line. What we did was bisecting the angle. See, this angle was bisected. This is the bisector line. Okay. And, um, okay. Now I'm going to be right back. I forgot to bring a pen so that we can make things clear. Okay, so I'll be right back. Who needs a pen when you've got a freaking marker? Okay. So let me draw in the bi bisectors. I'm not very good with markers. I'm usually shaky when it comes to markers. Okay, so never mind. And the center line, which comes here. I'm just going to draw this little triangle. Hey, like this. Um, see this intersection? See where all the creases meet? Okay, you're going to make a fold that starts from here. What I mean is that you're going to make a fold that crosses this the, all these intersections so let me demonstrate see the crease i made goes through all these intersections see this is the crease we made okay and it goes through all these intersections see okay now keep it folded and see this center line here underneath it I'm going to make a fold you're going to fold this tip up so that it lies along the central line okay like that hmm. now then unfold and now we're going to do an open sink okay so we're going to partially unfold it not completely unfold it but I'm going to for clarity I'm going to do something I just realized this is a very thick marker. Hey, see these two squares? These two squares? You're going to pinch mountain folds all around these squares, okay? Like that. Oh, yeah, keep it like that. Okay, make sure it's 
like this, okay. Okay, now we're going to pinch mountain folds all around this outer square. Like that. Like so. And like that. See now we have a square. Okay. A bird with bird base with a flat top. Okay. Now we're going to make a crease on this inner square. Valley folds. Okay, these were mountain folds, but these are valley folds. Now what I did is put a finger inside. Okay. And I like see I put my finger inside one of my finger inside and I put my f I pushed in here and while I pressed my index finger here okay like that see now we have valley folds okay wait are you seeing this my webcam is hanging so <laughs> can't really tell okay so like that and you collapse like that just like that and if we look inside you want to see that it's all synced hang on mm. okay now then sorry about that okay now we are going to make a valley fold we have now we have a synced bird base okay now what we're going to do is we're going to make a valley fold along this line but only on one layer on this layer okay see the result is this okay now we're going to keep use two f two fingers and we're going to keep pushing here okay keep pushing here until this tries to squash itself and we are going to let it squash itself but only on this crease okay hang on let me let me um, demonstrate see I'm going to squash it this is called a spread squash see it used to be like this okay but then I folded down this layer and I squashed it down repeat the same here keep pushing here push push and like push this part down until it lands on these mountain creases and make a new crease here okay what we're doing right now is a, called a split point point splitting it's an awesome technique where you can transform one point into two or more points okay Yoshi's, I think it was Yoshizawa who discovered this technique first. Then Robert Long uh, took this took this technique farther and made the ideal split point where a point can be split to its maximum height. Okay, and now uh, turn over and do the same thing here. I'm gonna do this faster so that I can save time. By the way, any Doctor Who fans out there, if there are, then well, let me know in the comments below. We'll talk some Whovian jargon together. Okay. So, we have these. Okay. Now we're going to fold this flap up. This flap. Okay. Up. Turn over. And we're going to fold this flap up as well. Like so. Okay, now we are going to make an angle bisector on this triangle. Hmm. So you're going to take this edge, see, I like to call these two points the ribbed points, okay, because they look like they're teared apart. So anyway, we're going to take this edge and fold it to this center line, this line. See, like that. Make that unfold, and let me draw in that crease for you. See? Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to make a crease that starts from this point. Okay. And let me start from this point. Okay. 
see like that okay see it starts from this point and we're going to make sure that this edge lines up with this edge in other words it's going to be a perpendicular line this line is going to be perpendicular to this edge so it starts from this uh, this corner and this edge lines up with this edge like so okay now unfold and let me join that crease for you again like so and we are going to make another crease that starts from this point and this time it's going this edge is going to line up with this edge okay again perpendicular crease like so and unfold okay now we are going to um sorry look inside look inside here and we have this crease and this crease okay now we're going to make a mountain fall along this crease and valley falls along this crease okay so it's going to be like this see this is called a crimp and then once you've done that you're going to just close it up okay now what we're going to do next is quite a tricky step but not that much so you have these three layers here um, let me open. see you have three layers right here right one two three I'm going to take this first layer like that put your finger here and you're going to just pull it out like that see once you pull it out just flatten it okay uh, uh, like that and um, you're going to turn over now see this flap it's behind uh, put it in front okay like that now do the same thing here take the first layer raw layers these are called singular and put your finger inside and pull it out like that okay and turn back over and put this flap in front okay now we're going to make a crease along this this edge like that Light right along the edge. Okay, now we're going to just look in here and we're going to just reverse fold it along these two folds. See, let me try and draw them for you. Oh, sorry. Huh? Okay, that is the worst drawing I've ever made. Okay, <laughs> anyway, we're going to make folds on these two lines, like that, valley folds, okay, and just close it up, like so, easy peasy, like so, okay, what's next, okay, now we're going to make a valley fold on, uh, we have a line in here, see this line I'm going to valley fold up in here okay just this layer okay and as you can see this layer will try to interrupt so know, something's not right hmm. okay so we fold up here okay and as you can see this flap is trying to interrupt and okay. something is definitely not right better fold it up okay and um, I'm going to squash this flap over to the right and make sure that it comes to these two points okay like this see like that okay 
Now we're going to fold this corner over along these two points. So just fold it over as far as you can. Or we could just take this corner and fold it to this corner. Okay, now we're going to make a rabbit ear fold. So fold this edge, this raw edge, okay. Fold it to this, this edge. We're basically folding the angle by sectors, okay. Like that and like that. Okay, now just pinch here and fold it up like that. This leftover piece, just fold it up like that. Oops, sorry. Let me fix that. Come on. Hmm. Okay. Now, see here. Now you could just keep it like this, but yeah, just keep it like this. Uh, there is an extra step, but it's okay if you don't do that. Okay. So, um, but I will do it. Okay. So this leftover piece right here. Okay. Uh, make these two creases. See, and like put this tip inside. See, just reverse fold it inside, like that. And then just fold this corner down like that. Okay. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing on this flap. Okay. So, first of all, we are going to fold the bisector like this. And we're going to make a line that starts from that crease. And it's perpendicular to this edge. Like so. And we're going to make another line that starts from this crease. And it's perpendicular to this edge. Okay. Unfold. Partially unfold here. And we're going to make a mountain fold along this crease. Valley fold and this crease. And close it back up. Like so. Now I'll take one raw layer, put your finger inside, and just pull it out. Okay, what's wrong? Now, you might want to do this carefully. This can rip. Okay. Like so. And turn over, put this flap in front, and do the same thing here. Turn over, put this, put this flap to here, and do the same thing. Hey, sorry, <laughs> uh, reverse fold along this edge. Okay, that is not a square. So if it's not really square, see this, this area should be like a square, okay? If it's not a square, then just adjust it and until it is a square, okay? Now valley fold along this crease and just flat. Okay, fold this to the other side. Oh, sorry. And now we're going to make a rabbit ear. Okay. And this flap here, we're going to just put it inside. Just stick it inside like that. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is... On this flap only, okay. What we're going to do is fold one flap to the right. Sorry, to the left. I don't know my left and right. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> So we're going to fold this flap down now, like that, and, uh, okay, now we're going to fold this flap 
to the left. Okay. And see this edge? This edge will not lie flat. So we're just going to just squash it. Like so. Okay. And you're going to just fold it back like that. Okay. Now we're going to make a crimp on this side. Okay. Now I'm going to crease this. You're going, what you're going to do is make t uh, take this crease and fold it to here. So you can just mount and fold it and take this crease and fold it to here. Okay. Now what you're going to do is uh, see this trap layer. You're going to take it, pull it. Okay. Make this crease into a valley fold. Okay and this crease into a mountain fold like so what we just did is a crimp that's not the way how you do it you can just do it like this but this is easier okay this is my way okay now look inside like this and you're going to uh, you can squash this squash this in an edge if you want okay Okay, now you're going to take this edge and fold it to the central line. It's actually as far as you can. Oh, sorry. Uh, first. Um, okay. You're going to make a line. Uh, okay, how do I explain this? I'm going to make a line that goes... That goes... Uh, that lines up with this crease. Okay, the crease underneath it like that and you're going to reverse fold it so just push it in like that and look inside and just fold this fold this edge to the center line or as far as you can like so now repeat on this side fold this up and make sure it lies along the crease underneath it and just reverse fold it and you're going to look inside and just fold it fold this to the center line like so okay now these two are going to be the legs okay see two little legs these are going to be the wings and these are going to be the this is going to be the head spoilers sorry Okay, now we're going to divide this flap in thirds, okay? So what you're going to do is fold this, okay? And once you've folded it, don't flatten sharply, okay? Just make sure that this area, this folded area, is equal to the size of this area. See, this area. Okay, so to make sure that it's precise, you can fold it, fold once, and fold it again and see if the second time you folded it this edge lines up with the center line exactly okay and apparently mine did okay so i'm going to fold it sharply and i'm going to fold this edge to the center line see like that now this area is divided in three parts one two three okay now do the same thing here okay now what you can do here is fold this edge along the edge behind this is an easy way to do this like this and unfold and fold this crease to the center line and just fold it like that as you can see it's now divided into thirds okay and we're almost done okay what we're going to do is um, take this edge and fold it to this line this edge sorry like so and now we're going to reverse fold it okay and we're going to make sure that the crease we make a crease along this line see we have a line here see we're going to make a crease along this line and we're going to just flatten it 
Easy peasy. And we're going to do the same thing here. Okay, now. Okay, hang on a minute. one minute to check something. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to make a reverse fold and it uh, you just do it as far as you can. Okay, just push this inside. And this area is just going to make it consider this a middle flap, okay? And just fold it to the side like this. Now, for references, I'm going to make sure that this edge touches, see, this point. See? This point. Now, unless you're using really thin paper, this is quite impossible to do neatly, but take your time with it, okay? Now, we're going to outside reverse fold. Uh, starting from here. See, starts here. Okay, this is up to you on how much. Okay, let's make this a little bit lower, I guess. Okay, now you have a flap. Oh, sorry. Now turn over and see you have a flap here. Just fold this to here. Okay, turn back over. And this flap, you're going to just fold it down. And voila, we have the head of the turret. Mm, and just tuck this flap behind the wings. Okay. Ah, <sighs> I'm tired of talking. Okay, <laughs> anyway. Now we're going to make a crease that starts from this point to this point. See, this point right here. So just fold it down. Actually, it's as far as you can fold, so, yeah. Okay, and unfold. Now we're going to take this point and fold it to here. Okay, now we're going to make a crease that starts from this point and this edge it will and make sure that this edge lines up with this edge see like that see it's perpendicular okay now uh, okay oh okay okay now we're going to um, see this layer here see this raw layer when to open it okay look here and you're going to have a crease that looks like this okay like this make mountain folds see like that looks like that and you're going to have a valley fold here make a valley fold here okay like that and just close this up back again as it was before now we're going to uh, take one single layer from here see one layer only and just pull it like that pull it baby pull it <laughs> okay um, now you see this little corner here I'm going to tuck it underneath this see this layer so just push it inside like so now we're going to repeat the same thing in here. So fold this corner down here. Make a line perpendicular. Crimp on existing creases. Sorry, first you need to open this layer, then crimp. I'll release this layer and tuck. Tuck this corner into here. 
like so. Now we're just going to fold on the wings, make them like this. And last but not least, we're going to shape this part, like this pinch, just pinch it. Okay, just shaping. Just pinch it, like this. And you're going to pinch the legs as well. Like so. And here as well. See? And now, this is not only a, a turn item for looks. The turn item is done, but this is not only a turn item for looks. This can also flap its wings. What you're going to do is just. Okay, sorry about that. My mother knocked and told me what I was doing. Okay, so this is not only a turn item that the, that is for looks. It can also flap its wings. See, you hold at its legs and at its neck, and you just pull its leg, and voila. It's an awesome design. So, the model is finished. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you were able to fold it. And I hope my tutorial was clear. And I hope you enjoyed my video. And I hope you like. And I hope you subscribe. I hope everything. Okay, so, see you next time. Bye-bye.